Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. As always, your support is greatly appreciated. Please do me a favor, check out my social links listed down in the description section. Also, take the time to subscribe to my videos, hit the notification button, and if you like this video, please smack the like button. Tonight we're going to talk about a mango barbecue sauce. This sauce right here. Deadeye Medium Mango. Sweet with a touch of heat. Right there. That's the only description we have on the bottle. Uh, do, does have a small story on the back side that tells you where this sauce originated from. And I'll go ahead and read that to you real quick. Deadeye started with the discovery of an old recipe written on an aged note card tucked away in sweet great aunt Irene's cupboard. It was brought to life by two college students in the agricultural capital of the world and in a state where there are more pigs than people. If I'm not mistaken, I believe the sauce is uh, distributed out of Iowa. What started at local small town farmers markets has grown to grocery stores across the Midwest. You can find out more at www.deadeyebarbecue.com. So, that's the description that you get off of the bottle. So, the only thing left to do is to crack it open and see exactly what we've got here. All right, as always, I have my meatballs because, hey, meatballs go great with everything. Let's open up this sauce here. See exactly what we've got. Oh, you know what I forgot to do here? Give it a shake. Uh, open her up. Mm. Yes. Smells good. It's a loose sauce. It's not, it's not extremely thick. You can probably see how easy it pours. So it's not a thick sauce at all. Extremely, extremely sweet. <clears throat> Absolutely taste the mango. Mango is very prominent, and you you taste it right away, right away. Uh, there is some heat to it, and you get the heat right away too. It's not a huge heat, <clears throat> but it is. You can definitely tell there's some heat here. You see how loose that sauce is. Mm. very good very good like i said it's 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 really sweet if you'd like a sweet barbecue sauce a sweet mango barbecue sauce this is going to be right up your alley like i said the mango you, you really taste the mango right from the get-go like i said there's a little bit of heat to it but nothing that that uh, is extremely hot on this on this sauce. So don't be uh, if you're uh, afraid of the heat. Don't be afraid of this sauce. This sauce is really good. It's more sweet than heat in this sauce. But as I said, you definitely taste the mango in this. The very first thing you taste the minute it hits your mouth is the mango. A little oversweet, eh, possibly. Just depends on how sweet you like your barbecue sauce. I like the sauce. Uh, me personally, I like a sweet barbecue sauce. And this one, yeah, this one is definitely one that I'm going to keep uh, stocked on my shelf. All right, a recap of Dead Eye Medium Mango Barbecue Sauce. I said earlier that the front label didn't really give a large description, but I'll I'll be honest with you, this little description right here, it described it right down to a T. It's a medium of mango sauce. You absolutely taste the mango the minute it hits your tongue. It is sweet. You might even think it's too sweet for a barbecue sauce, but me personally, I like a sweet barbecue sauce with 
some heat to it. Now this says sweet with a touch of heat, and that's exactly what it had, was just a touch of heat. If you're not a fan of hot barbecue sauces, don't shy away from this sauce because it was just a touch of heat. Not sure what they use for heat in this sauce, but it was it was very minimal. It's a thinner sauce than sauces I've tried before. It's not as thick as normal sauces. But in all honesty, I really liked this sauce. I like a sweet sauce. I like a sweet sauce with a, a little bit of heat to it. And this kind of delivered for me. I could have used a little more heat, but this sauce was pretty good. So in my personal opinion, and these are my taste buds, in my opinion, I give this sauce an eight and a half. An eight and a half on the scale, uh, which is which is good. It's a it's a good score. And like I said, that's my decision on my taste buds. That's what I like. That's what I'm giving it. So thanks for checking in with me tonight. If you want to know what sauces that I'm going to be trying next, um, I've got a list of sauces on my website at www.thesauceblog.com. Go there, check out which sauces I have listed. Those are the ones that are coming up here shortly in the future. Um, once again, thanks for stopping in. I really appreciate it. Check back next time as I try the next sauce from around the world.